Uh, hello, uh, how are you today? Uh, this is uh, Bong Su Jung, Korean labor attorney. Today, I like to talk about uh, lock out in labor dispute. So, what is a lock out? Uh, when labor uh, union go on strike, uh, there are many options they choose. That is uh, uh, like uh, full scale uh, strike or um, part strike or uh, they can occupy company's uh, property or they do picketing or they follow the work to rule so such a uh, behaviors uh, we call it uh, unions uh, industrial action or strikes uh, in that case uh, what is the employer can do to protect their property or uh, some to get to the some uh, they maintain their own uh, the power in this uh, labor dispute so in that case uh, employees uh, uh, we call employees industrial action that is a lock out so when employer i mean when labor union uh, occupied some company prop property and they refuse to work in that case uh, company uh, com companies uh, what company can do is uh, no pay, no uh, work. So they apply this principle, but this uh, takes a long time. So in that case, uh, employer needs to recover their losing power in labor dispute. That is, we uh, they take a special measure that is uh, lock out their factory. So in that case, uh, how to implement lock out in this labor dispute? That is, uh, 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 it is required that the employer uh, take a lock out very offensively or uh, the, uh, protecting their uh, property. So in that case, uh, labor union must start their uh, stri strike first, uh, then as a def defensive way, employer can uh, choose the lock out, then they um, uh, they needed to report the log out uh, schedule to the uh, government office and labor commission uh, at the same time. Uh, people they uh, implement uh, this log out uh, measures. So then, why company uh, try to do uh, this log out? Is uh, first one is uh, recover uh, some occupied uh, factory. Uh, also, they need to recover their uh, lost uh, power. Uh, also, at the same time, uh, company will not pay any uh, salary to those people who do not participate in labor strikes. So, uh, then in labor union or uh, their members, uh, they cannot maintain strikes long time because uh, they cannot earn money. Uh, so they suffer from losing money, but employees uh, has the same situation. Then uh, employee, uh, our labor union or their members, uh, they claim that uh, maybe they uh, they uh, they not to strike anymore. They come back to uh, the negotiation and they do operation when they um, the um, reported to the uh, company about their returning to work in that case uh, employees should cancel this log out uh, if they maintain this log out continuously then it is uh, uh, becoming uh, illegal so company should accept so why did uh, lock out naturally is uh, employee needs to protect their property at the same time they will not pay any salary to those who do not participate in labor strike so also this uh, relation is related to the um, the concluding uh, employ like uh, collective agreement so the main reason for the union to take strike is uh, to uh, um, to have a, a more or a better uh, collective agreement. Also, employees measure to take uh, this log out is also uh, they can uh, depend on their uh, agreement, like collective agreement. What they agreed in collective agreement uh, must be implemented. So it is the first. Uh, I mean, th this is binding uh, the regulations. 
So for either party, so I mean to both party, uh, labor union and uh, the employer. So uh, how that sh that is to sh we can see the importance of collective agreement. So uh, those uh, industrial action uh, is all related to the uh, the uh, collective agreement uh, making process. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is uh, what I explained about logout and employees measure and also the purpose of this logout. Yeah. Okay, this is all. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye bye.